Hey, welcome back to the Six Figure Mastermind. Marianne Donovalis here. Let's talk Instagram and big business, especially your six figure business. I'm going to show you some really big dogs that are using Instagram for things that you might be surprised about. Stay tuned. Marianne, I'm John. How do I use Instagram to grow my six figure business? Hey, thanks for asking that question. Instagram is a great platform for building your six figure business. And I'm going to talk about why that is today. So let's open up a discussion. When we do that though, I want you to kind of cheat a little bit. Okay. So pull out your phone and I'm going to give you permission this time to be a little bit distracted as long as it's just me and Instagram. Okay. Nothing else. So we're going to talk about the best businesses in Instagram and what they're doing. And we're going to look at the big dogs today. Okay. We're going to be looking at Airbnb and Tesla and National Geographic, and then we'll check out some other Instagrams and see what they're doing. But the idea is Instagram is in front of so many people. I don't know if you've realized this, but when Facebook started kicking out, you know, it was back in what, 2008, 2010. And now all those people, guess where they are now? they're 10 years older and they have probably have a lot of kids and their kids aren't really getting on Facebook because mom and dad are on Facebook. That's weird. So they're really using Instagram. So it, depending on what your demographic is, you've got to have an Instagram account for your business because you've got your business to be in front of your people. If your business is in front of your people, kiss your business goodbye, right? So you got to have your Instagram account rolling. And I always recommend to everyone that they have, and I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about Facebook, but I always recommend that people have multiple platforms for their business. And since Instagram is imaged based and it's such a competitive market right now, you want to have a foothold in that. So let's see how the big dogs are playing. I'm going to open up my phone, scroll through Instagram right with you and see what's going on in the Instagram world. This is going to be really cool to see because when I record this video and when you watch it, there's going to be different activity from these players. All right. So we're, let's first take a look at Airbnb. Okay. So I'm going to open up my phone and look up Airbnb on Instagram. Let's just look at their feed right now. And if you go on your phone, look up Airbnb whenever or wherever you're at right now and just compare it and let's see how well they're doing and how well they continue to be doing. So right now, Airbnb have 2.9 million followers on Instagram. Okay. Airbnb fascinates me because it's a, a real estate company. Essentially, you know, maybe, maybe you may argue with me on that, but essentially they vend real estate but they don't necessarily own any of it. There is a huge turn in business right now of, of crowdsourcing. So that that's why this company is so awesome is because it's in the hands of their consumers essentially. So they've got this amazing feed right here and, and just look at all these pictures for a moment. Okay. They've got this really cool thing going on. And, and when you think of yourself as an Instagrammer, think of yourself as someone who can lay out a magazine spread. Okay. This, magazine spread has so many different elements. In fact, if you look just at the first, we've got a, a, almost a 16 block here. We've got the nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Okay. Almost a 16 block here. And look at the patterns that they're using in their Instagram. In the top middle, you can see this triangle shape with this a frame window, right? Check out the bottom, the, the middle on the left. Again, you see that triangle shape repeated. Okay skip down to the next line on the far right. They've got that triangle shape repeated again on the middle, on the bottom, they've got that triangle shape repeated again. And you better believe that was intentional. That was a deliberate spread on their Instagram feed because it is appealing to the eye. Okay. Now check everything else out. They've got uh, two people on look up. Let's look back at the first line. They've got two images with people on either their kayaks or their waterboards. Those images are not right next to each other. And that's on purpose too, because you don't want to make your feed look, ugh. you have, if you have two waters, it just wouldn't look great. Okay. They've got, again, look at this pattern here. Now we're looking at squares on this top row. You've got a square on the far right squares on the far left on the next row squares in the middle on the bottom. So this feed is very, very purposeful. Okay. So we've got the layout. Now let's look at the individual posts. We're going to look at the most recent post that they have right here from Airbnb from Porto, Portugal, 1947. That's the number of like count we've got on this seven comments. And this post is only an hour old. All right. 
check out what they're doing. They've got seven comments. Their, their caption on this photo is very simple. Um, it's got a shout out to Bailey who's doing the zip lining, having you do it like a pro. So if, again, click the link in our bio for more. Smart Instagram accounts will use their captions to reference their bio. So I'm gonna go over to their bio based on the instructions I got from their caption and check out this bio. I know what Airbnb is, it's a local and travel website, opens the door to interesting homes and experiences, even if it's just for a night. Now, if you know Airbnb, you know it's basically, you're gonna look wherever you're headed and whenever you're headed and see if you can get an overnighter. You know, I've gotten homes in Peru for Airbnb for 28 bucks a night. I mean, it was a steal and it was right downtown in Cusco, Peru. And you could say that's pretty simple, right? All I'm looking for is a place to stay, but they are marketing themselves as an experiential company. These places that they're showing, yeah, they're showing the Airbnb homes, but they're also showing what you're capable of doing when you travel to these places. And that serves them as a company because they're not just selling an overnight, they're selling an experience. So this is a great, great bio, great captions, great layout, super high marks for Airbnb here. Let's check out another one. Let's go over to, let's look at Tesla. Tesla's really big right now. They're, they're coming out with amazing technology, amazing cars, and they're a very forward thinking company. Now, if you look at Tesla, they've got a different pattern. Obviously they're all about cars, but they've got a little bit of a different spin on it. You know, it's not just pictures of cars. If it was just pictures of, of hot rods and, and their amazing vehicles, you know, Anyone who's not a, car, a gearhead, as it were, might lose interest pretty fast. But they know their audience. They know their audience does like vehicles. They know their audience does like cars. But they also know that Tesla is more than just a vehicle brand. It's, it's a lifestyle. They've made it into a lifestyle with their Instagram. So you can see that many of these posts are videos. Uh, many of them are slides, meaning there's a little, if you get, look at this uh, top on the left, you'll see this one has a slide. There's a little white icon in the top corner that says this post has multiple slides in the same post and looks like they're installing some kind of uh, solar panels in a hospital. Okay, it's a children's hospital, it looks like. That's a part of the Tesla brand is revolutionizing, doing good through technology. That's their brand. Okay, let's dissect more of this. We've got very short bio on this one, electric cars, giant batteries, and solar. Okay, and then it's got a shortened link to one of their websites. Okay, it's it's followed by several people that I know. There's 4.2 million followers in here. They're all only following 34 people. Okay, that says something about their brand. And their feed is very clean. It's very crisp. It's very, you know, there's there's a Tesla logo or something like that in almost every post, I would say more than half of the posts, they've got their logo or their brand. But you can tell that not every photo and not every video is produced professionally. Now let's take a look at this one. This looks like it was shot on someone's iPhone, right? By one of their customers who's loving Tesla enough to uh, go give them hugs. And this one's a repost. You can see in the bottom there, it's a repost. They've got that little icon there that says it is a repost. But how cool is that? That Tesla is going to, you know, give shout outs to their clients. Again, it's sharing that their brand is very lifestyle based. So if you're wanting to make your brand part of someone's lifestyle, include it in your feed, include it in your Instagram layout. Okay, let's just do one more. We're going to go to Adobe. Adobe produces uh, if I can spell it right there, Adobe produces software for artists, for creators, for uh, just about everyone has seen a product produced by Adobe. If you're on YouTube with me right now, you've probably used products that were produced by Adobe, either Photoshop or Lightroom or what have you. Adobe is, is more than just a lifestyle. It's, I don't know if even there's a name for it. it it's just a household name. Adobe is a household name, and but more than that, what they can do is so household. Everyone has heard of it. Okay, so we're gonna look at Adobe's feed here. I love the photography that they have put together for this feed. Now, take a look. The thing that sticks out most in Adobe's feed is their coloring, okay? They've got very similar kinds of uh, landscapes together, grouped like that, 
and it's all in the blue and green hue area. And then we start to go down and start to see more oranges, more reds. We've got this uh, purplish, pinkish thing going on. Now it's starting to move into yellows and gold colors, okay? Again, this is very, very deliberate. When you're posting on, on your Instagram feed, Follow these people, follow what they're doing because what makes them so successful is not only great content, but great positioning of their content. If you were to do this image standalone, smashing image, absolutely incredible. Clear, crisp, clean, clear. I'd be shocked if this came from an iPhone. This is probably from a multi-thousand dollar camera with an incredible lens. You know, there. this post is two days old. It's got 13,000 likes. It's got 61 comments and look at the caption. It's like not even two lines long. It's a line and a half. Earth Day, find a spot that inspires you today. Should we go into the comments? Let's go into the comments and see what they're saying, okay? Happy Earth Day. Now, the first two comments are from Adobe. Now, look what Adobe's done here. They've taken their hashtags and put it in the comment section instead of putting it in the caption. There may be a couple reasons why they did that, but my guess is to de-junk the caption. You know that you only have between two and 10 seconds to capture someone's attention and they're using it very wisely, okay? So they're using their hashtags in the comments so that when people go and use those hashtags, they're not just junking up the caption, all right? Then you've got all of these comments to, to this post and you can see that many of these replies, you know, let's, I'm betting they're by, okay, they're by fellow users, which is awesome. They're very organic, okay? Look at these comments, it's just great. There's little emojis here and there. Nice shot, stunning. Uh, this feed is amazing. And then people are, you know, don't be that guy that uses someone else's feed to promote your own stuff. That's just not cool for me. Um, but you know, it's, it's something that you can do if it's wise, but I would only use it if you've got a deliberate collaboration. Uh, otherwise it's just a little bit spammy. But this is generating very, very high amounts of organic interaction with people. So the best thing for you to do is look for top users in your field. If you're a photographer, then you definitely wanna be following Adobe and do what I call R&D. R&D is rip off and duplicate, right? It otherwise known as inspiration. Be inspired by their content, be inspired by their layout, be inspired by what they're doing, and then put your own flavor and your own twist on it. Go out there and look in your area for the top dog professionals that are doing what you wanna do and just grab your inspiration from them. Instagram is the place to be. So leave me a comment below. Ask me a question about building your six-figure business because we wanna make some videos just for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you tomorrow.